it's Ashley and I'm back and we're going to be reacting to uh, Train of Busan Presents Peninsula and uh, this is a sequel if you're not familiar with Train to Busan got a little reference for you um, the first one the original Train to Busan freaking amazing like top-notch zombie movies go and see it if you haven't seen it it does have subtitles get over it it's an amazing movie um it has my bae my korean bae gong Yu. insert his picture in here with his sexy self and the original train to busan came out in 2016 it's a southern korea action horror film directed by yeon sang kyo and starring gang yu jong yumi and ma dong Siok. silk uh the film mostly takes place on a train to busan as a zombie apocalypse suddenly breaks out in the country and threatens the safety of the passengers uh, the film premiered in the midnight screening section of the 2016 Cannes Film Festival on May 13th on August 7th. Um, the film set a record as the first Korean film of 2016 to break the audience record of over 10 million moviegoers. Well, the fund manager, Seok Woo, is a cynical workaholic and divorced father. His little daughter, Su Soyeon, wants to spend her birthday with her mother in Busan. Sukwu sees a video of Suwon attempting to sing Aloha Oi at the, her singing recital and succumbing to stage fright as a result of his absence. Overcome with guilt, he decides to indulge, indulge in Suwon's wish. They board the KTX 101 at Seoul Station en route to Busan. Other passengers, including working class man, Song Kuo and his pregnant wife, Seon Kyung, selfish COO Yoon Suk, ugh, that guy's disgustingly evil, uh, a high school basketball team, including Yoon Guk and his cheerleader girlfriend, Jin Hee, elderly sisters, In Gil and Gong Gi, and a homeless stowaway as the train departs an infected woman boards, becomes a zombie, and attacks a train attendant. The infection spreads rapidly throughout the train. Seok Wu learns that the zombie plague started at a factory connected to his business and selfishly plans to use his connections to get to safety. The storyline for this one is that four years after South Korea's total decimation in Train to Busan, the original movie, the zombie thriller that captivated audiences worldwide acclaimed director Yong Sang Ho. Remi uh, brings us Peninsula, the next nail-biting chapter in his apocalyptic world. Oh. So Jung Seok, a soldier who previously escaped the diseased wasteland, uh, relives the horror when assigned to a covert operation with two simple objectives, re retrieve and survive. When his team unexpectedly stumbles upon survivors, there will their lives will depend on whether the best or worst of human nature prevails in the direst of circumstances. Or a lot more horror movies have been using this theme throughout them. I've noticed like Walking Dead was the first one. Um, well, no, not Walking Dead. Twenty, I think 28 Days. No, it's not. There have been other ones too. I can't think of them. But the the way people turn on people has started to become more included in the storyline of zombie movies uh and i like it because for the longest time people were just like oh i could survive a zombie apocalypse but for the, when you're talking about it one of the things at first that people never mentioned was like what about the other survivors? They might not be as helpful as you could you would you would be in the same situation. And uh in the first train of Busan that was highlighted 
Walking Dead, like I said. Um, anyways, here we go. Uh, Oh, shit. I will say if you have not seen the first uh, Train to Busan, the zombies are like, uh, they're like sprinters. Like in 28 Days Later, is that the one? Not 28 Days Later, World War Z, the one with Brad Pitt. Because theirs is Rage in 28 Days. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that little kid looks familiar. Oh, little girl, yes, I'm scared. I guess I was scared. That looks really good. Uh, it was a teaser, so there wasn't much to it. Uh, that what was that like a big ass scorpion uh, tank <laughs> tank of zombies all molded together was fucking scary um what looks like well besides the tank part that whole scene where it's like is this a zombie apocalypse fight club where we have to fight off zombies i mean inventive quite the opera opera quite the opportunist uh very inventive you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, life's not working the way it usually is. So how are you gonna get money? So that was creepy. Um, but you know, there's always an underbelly to something where something good happens. There's somebody trying to people. As soon as like people are trying to go about doing stuff the honest way, there's always some black market evil shit going on too. So. Who am I? Who am I to say anything again? <laughs> Get your coin barter system. Because he has some money. It wouldn't really count for shit. Um, so if you have seen the first Busan, Train to Busan, how did you like it? Is it like one of your favorite zombie movies? Your top 10? Your favorite period? Uh, leave a comment below. Are you excited for this uh, new Train to Busan? I mean, I don't... F it looks good, but sequels are never better than the original. There's the exception, but I don't know. I feel like it'll be good, but not as good. Unless he's like, he doesn't try to follow that same pattern. Because, you know, that's that's the thing. When they try to do that with sequels, it's like, it's the same thing that kind of happened in the first one, but they use new people. So you're supposed to like, oh, this is different. It's so interesting. I like it. Not really. But, uh, I will, uh, see you in the next video. Peace. If you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do, tell me what to do. If you want me to take over, just give me the green light, just give me a sign, just give me the green light. If you want me to